Yo, what's going on everybody? Need for Beans over here. In this video, we will be doing a comparison between the top three AIM trainers, in my opinion, AIM Beast, AIM Lab, and Kovac. Now, a lot of people, they have questions as to why one AIM trainer is different than the other, which one should I use? Is one better than the other? So I will attempt to answer all these questions in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So right here we have AIM Beast. My, in my opinion, Aim Beast has the best UI out of all the Aim Trainers. It's really, it has a very clean UI. The graphics is just like pleasant to look at. You know, a lot of times for Kovacs, the biggest problem is it may not look as nice or as pretty, but Aim Beast definitely has some great textures and the sounds and everything. It, I mean, it, it definitely beats Kovacs when it comes to UI and just overall aesthetics. But other than that, AIMBeast has quite a bit of scenarios. You can actually select based on what kind of aspect of your aim you want to train. So let's say I want to train tracking. I can select any of these scenarios. The difficulty here, the lower it is, obviously the easier it is. But there's another one, uh, ranked. Um, it actually will uh, allow you to get, get a certain rank in AIMBeast. But these scenarios are not that easy, and if you want to get a decent rank, you actually have to try. So I think that's some great incentive for um, for you guys to grind ranks, and I think it's a, a great way for AIMBeast to you know, show progression for a user and have have an in-game built progression system or some sort of benchmarking system for your user. You can also change the texture and all the colors for your maps. That's absolutely it's very easy. So you go to advanced. And wall color, you know, you can change it to like, let's say, I don't know, green. And the best part is you can actually see it in the background change as you move the slider. So we have like a purple wall. If you want to change the actual color of the target, you can override bot colors right here. If you want a different bot color, you can, bot color, you can just select it here, hit apply, and you'll see in the background you have a different bot color. So it's, it's white. It doesn't look that great. So I think if we actually make this slightly darker, like this, it might be a little better. So let's see. Not very pretty to look at, but you know, you get the idea of uh, modifying everything. I mean, you could do the same thing in Kovacs, but this is just slightly, slightly better UI. So overall, Aim Beast is um, has a very good UI, has a lot of great scenarios, has that benchmarking system. But the reason I don't use it is there's been some rumors the developers of aim beast said that the app itself is meant to be a data collection application so it just collects your data i'm not sure what kind of data it collects but ever since i heard those rumors about aim beast i was just not incentivized enough to play it over the other options that are available over there so that is kind of most of um AIMBeast, you know, you have a lot of different scenarios and there's some really great scenarios in here, don't get me wrong. AIMBeast, while it doesn't have as many scenarios as Kovacs, for example, it has some really, for Valorant, for example, it has some really specific scenarios. Like this is a replication of Bind A on Heaven for Valorant. And you can actually practice your, um, you need to hit the targets twice for them to die, but you can practice your snipes as if you're sniping from A Heaven which is actually pretty insane. So this does have some great scenarios. However, I don't think practicing this over a simple tracking routine is gonna be any better, but that is just my opinion. Maybe for you, it's different. All right, guys, let's move on to the next one, which is Aim Labs. So here we have Aim Lab. Aim Lab is another aim trainer, but this one focuses more on benchmarking your overall performance and giving you very specific tips on how to improve your aim. Now, as many others will say, and I also agree, Aim Lab is a great benchmarking tool to let you know how good your aim is. However, I don't think at its current state right now it is a very good training tool. I mean, it has quite a bit of scenarios, much less than Kovacs or Aim Beast, but each scenario is very specific as to what exactly are you trying to train. So this one is, for example, Spider Shot where every time you shoot the gun, you have to go back to the center. So you're gonna get the first target is gonna be the center. It's kind of a weird way of training because you always have to go back 
and re essentially reset your crosshair. Now, I don't think this is a bad way of training. I just don't think it's very optimal. And, you know, doing this kind of stuff, it might as well just do one wall six targets in Kovacs or a different scenario. This seems just a little bit, I guess, extra. You know, there's all this fluff about you, know, you have a gun and you have skins for your gun. And some of these scenarios, if uh, we'll go check right here, go to training, tasks, uh, sandbox mix. I mean, this is a straight up game. At this point, if you're going to be doing scenarios like this, then I guarantee you it's much better to actually maybe do death matches in a game because this, they're literally playing a whole game. So why not at that point just practice in the actual game you're going to play? So that's what I mean. Aim Lab is a very good aim trader, but it's very good for letting you know of when, what you need to work on and how good your aim is. It'll give you a decent benchmark on, okay, I'm a diamond level aim or a bronze level, uh, flicking, tracking speed, precision, perception, cognition. It gives you very specific details about your aim, which is amazing. Aim Lab is actually free on Steam. Last I checked. So all of you guys should definitely get Aim Lab and at least do the benchmark and see how good you're doing and just take some of the tips because for me, it was telling me, hey, your aim towards the right wasn't as good as your aim towards, you know, the, the left. You can even like set the recall you have for Fortnite. But see, then you're treading into the territory of just trying to recreate the game in a completely another application. Might as well just go play the actual game. Nothing wrong with Aim Lab, just not a lot of scenarios but a great benchmarking tool. All right, let's move on to Kovacs. I saved the best for last, Kovacs. Now, as you guys might have already figured out, this is definitely my favorite, favorite aim trainer. And let me explain exactly why. First of all, Kovacs is one of the first aim trainers that really came to market. I mean, this is the first one that got popular. Everybody knows this is the OG. This is the original aim trainer. So this, Aim Trainer has a ton and ton and ton of scenarios, like so many scenarios, thousands and thousands, way, way, way more than honestly both Aim Beast and Aim Lab combined. Now, a big argument that people make against Kovac saying just because you have 10,000 scenarios doesn't mean you're better than Aim Lab or Aim Beast that only have, let's say, 100 scenarios. At the end of the day, if you're training your aim, you're not going to be doing 10,000 scenarios. You're just going to be doing maybe 10 at most, right? Just because it has a lot more scenarios doesn't mean that it's better. The value behind Kovac is the community. They have a great, great Discord channel you guys can join. And if you have any questions or anything, you can go and ask them. But I personally, I like Kovac just for the simplicity that it provides, right? Yes, it's not very pretty to look at. These textures are not amazing. The UI might not be exceptional compared, compared to some of the other ones, but when it comes to training raw aim, honestly, nothing beats Kovac. Another reason that I really prefer Kovacs over all these other aim trainers is I know that Kovacs is the original aim trainer. They've been around the longest. And Aim Lab and Aim Beast, they are the newer ones. The other big thing about Kovacs is the amazing community it has behind it. That is honestly, in my opinion, its biggest value and the biggest reason why you should be using Kovac. For a lot of these scenarios, you have some specific questions. For example, how can I get better at one wall six targets? Well, guess what? You can go on YouTube, Google Kovacs one wall six targets tips, and you will get a tip that say, hey, you should actually focus on slowly moving your cursor from one target to another in a straight line. And then as you get better at that, you can start moving it faster and faster and faster and that will really help you with your aim. Now, some things like this, you're not going to be able to find on any like forums for the other aim trainers. Like you might still be able to find them, but it's not going to be as easy. I remember I saw some posts on Steam, for example, about aim beast and something to do with Fortnite sensitivity or FOV. And people have a lot of questions, but they have no answers because there just isn't that big infrastructure, big community behind it. Anybody can make a map in Kovacs. People make maps every single day, every hour. There's always new scenarios and new maps. And just that community is the reason why I always will always choose Kovacs over the other aim trainers. Now, when it comes to actual effectiveness, how effective is each aim trainer? Well, they are all absolutely equal because they all train your aim. They all do the same exact thing. It's like some of them have a little fluff or have some motivation behind it. Kovacs, for example, has no fluff. 
it's really easy to get bored playing Kovac because you're not necessarily grinding for any new achievement. You're just trying to beat your high score. Where in AIM Labs and AIMBs, you have all these rankings and you know benchmarks and progressions that definitely do help people who get really bored while training AIM. So there is definitely a value there. However, in my opinion, Kovacs is the clear winner because of their amazing community. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I shed some light about the differences and similarities between those three AIM trainers, AIM Lab, AIM Beast, and Kovac. And I hope you got a clear picture about the differences between each AIM trainer. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Need for Beans, out. Peace!